This new AI tool just destroyed Lovable and NA10. It is called Viewer AI and it claims to build beautiful full stack apps with just simple text prompts, which would make using NA10 a complete waste of time if you can build the same or even better apps by typing simple prompts in a beginner friendly interface. So, as someone that spends hours every day building AI systems using these tools and has made multiple videos showing you how to do the exact same, I'm going to put Viewer AI to the test by trying to build a YouTube analytics app just like Social Blade which has millions of users and makes hundreds of thousands of dollars every month from Google Ads and paid memberships. And if it actually can, I will have to seriously consider switching my app building over to UWare. So make sure you stay till the end of the video where I reveal the final result and let you know my opinion on whether it is worth switching over or not. But before that, let's start building the app. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is to go over to viewer.com, which I will leave a link for in the description below, and then you need to come and sign up for a free account so you can follow along with the video. Now, what I really love about Viewer is their very active community, which has a bunch of different already made apps that you can simply select on, and then you can take them and customize them exactly as you want. And then, as you can see, they have a lot of different apps, which, if I'm gonna be honest, they do deserve of a separate video because in this video our goal is to create a YouTube analytics app and to do that we have to come all the way over here to the top right and click on the create button. What this does is it opens up UWare's AI builder. So now we have two options about how we're gonna create this app. We can either simply come over here and manually type it in or we can do it with another way which is by using Figma. And since most professionals do build the front end interface over in Figma, this is the way I will show you how to do in this video. But now you might say, Damian, how exactly we're gonna be able to use Figma in UWare? Well, I'm glad you asked because if we come over here in the bottom and we click on this button, we can see all the MCP tools that UWare has access to, which what this means is basically all the tools that can be very easily integrated within UWare simply because UWare is using their MCP servers. And as you can see, we have a bunch of tools over here. They have Superbase, they have YouTube, they have Google Maps. And if we come over here to the top, you can see that they also have access to the Figma tool. What that means is we can basically take in any design we have in a Figma interface and bring it over to you where exactly as it is inside Figma. And how we're gonna be able to do that is by coming over here and clicking on the plus icon where you were is basically asking us for a Figma personal access token. And now you might say, Damien, how am I gonna be able to find my Figma personal access token? Well, do not worry guys, because if we scroll down here, you can see that you were basically has very simple step-by-step -step instructions of exactly how we can do that. You can see the first thing that it tells us is to go over in our Figma and navigate over to the settings. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over in my Figma and then I will navigate over here in the settings tab. And then if we come down here, we can see that we need to navigate over in the security tab and then select generate new token. So I will again come back over in my Figma and then I will navigate over to the security tab and I will click on generate new token. And boom, over here we simply need to give it a name. I will name it token for this example. Then over here we need to select the expiration date. I will select 30 days for this example. And then it will come back over to you where I will scroll down here. We can see basically all the scopes that we need to enable so you where can access a Figma project. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I will come back over to you where, but since I don't really care about the personal data that I have inside my Figma project, I will simply enable all of them. And then I will come over here, click on generate token. And boom, this is our brand new token. All we have to do is to copy it and then come back over to you where simply paste it in over here and click on save. And boom, as you can see, Figma was successfully installed over in a UWare interface. So now what we have to do is to basically go find a Figma project that we can import over to UWare. So since we're trying to build an app similar to Social Blade, where you're basically able to search for any YouTube channel, let's say for example, search for Mr. Beast, and then it basically gives us a bunch of his YouTube stats and analytics over here, we are going to need a more search-based app. So that's why I'm going to come over here and navigate over to the templates and tools tab, and then come all the way over here, and I will search for search interface. And boom, as you can see, we have a bunch of templates that we can choose from. And if I scroll down till I find one that I like, let's say I really like this one for example all I would have to do is to simply click on it 
and then come over here click on open in Figma which is going to open that specific Figma project and then I will be able to edit it exactly as I want but since this isn't a Figma tutorial I'm not going to show you how to do that right now I just want to show you how you can take any design you have over in Figma and import it over to UART so to do that I will simply come over here to the top and click on share and then I will come over here and copy this link and then come back over to UART and simply type in something like import this Figma design and then come over here paste in my Figma URL and come and click on enter and now UART is going to get access to this Figma project since it is connected with a Figma MCP tool and it's basically going to import it over to UART exactly as it is inside Figma. That's why I love UART so much guys because of the MCP tools since you're basically able to do a bunch of complex functions with just a few simple clicks and what people are asking me should I be using Lovable in any 10 or should I be using UART AI? I always tell them the same thing. If you're going to use a tool that your AI has access as an MCP tool, definitely use your AI. It's going to be by far the easiest and fastest way to build what you want. And also if the tool you're going to use is not inside your interface, because as you can see guys, your doesn't have access to all the MCP tools, you can simply use your to build a front end interface and then use any 10 for the back end functions of your app. And now all we have to do is to simply wait till your is done importing the project. So I will be back with you once it is done. And boom, you were just finished importing the Figma project. And as you can see, it looks exactly like the project we had inside our Figma interface, which is honestly super impressive. And the best part is that you were just launched a brand new feature, which is called the edit feature, in which you can basically come over here, click on the edit button, and then you're able to manually go inside your interface and edit everything that you don't like. So let's say, for example, I want to change this text. All I have to do is to simply come over here and click on it. And then I can come over here, delete it, and type something like discover everything on YouTube. And as you can see, I'm successfully managed to change the text. Now, let's say I also don't like the size of the text. All I have to do is to come over here, click, and then I can select what size I want my text to be. Let's say I want it to be 80 for this example. And then if I want to, I can also come over here and change the color of my text as well. But since I don't actually want to, I will leave this on black. And then we have a bunch of more options over here. You can see I can make it have an underline. I can also make the text bold and I can also change the overlay and a bunch of more options over here. I think you get the point. You can basically customize it exactly as you want. So let's say I also don't like this snippet of text over here. All I have to do is to simply come and delete it. And now to make those changes active, all I have to do is to simply come over here click on the enter button a UR is going to go change the code of the interface and basically make all the changes I just edited manually and boom as you can see successfully made the changes in our interface and that is a super useful feature guys because a lot of times the AI is not going to get exactly what you're going for you will have to explain it to it one two three times till you get the end result that you want. That's why it's always useful to have the option to manually go and edit things yourself so you basically can get them done exactly as you want in the first try. So that's why I think this is a super cool feature. And now it's time we build the actual functionalities of our app. So to do that, I will simply come over here and type something like, hey, I want my app to be like Social Blade. Basically, it should be a YouTube analysis tab where the user will be able to search for, for any YouTube channel and this app is going to look up data in that YouTube channel and return a bunch of relevant stats just like Social Blade does. And what I also need to do is to come over here in the MCP tools, open it up and as you can see we have access to the YouTube MCP tool which basically allows us to search videos, get captions and channel data to power rich AI web experiences. So we're basically able to build this up this easily simply because UR has access to this MCP tool. So all I have to do is to simply come over here and click on the plus icon, which automatically enables it. As you can see, we basically have to do zero configuration ourselves. And then I will simply come close this off and I will come and send over this prompt. So now UR is going to go and it's going to make all the changes. So our app is able to retrieve relevant analytics from YouTube channels and display them in a nice looking way in our interface. And boom, you are just finished making the changes. And just to test it out, I will come over here and we'll search for Mr. Beast. And if I click on enter, we can see that we do have a bunch of data about Mr. Beast channel. We can see that he has 432 million subscribers. He also has uploaded 897 videos and he's active on YouTube from February 19th 
2012. And just to confirm that this data is true, if I go over to Mr. Beast's channel, we can see that he does in fact have 432 million subscribers, 897 videos, and if I actually open up more information about his channel, I can also see that he did in fact join on the 20th of February 2012. Which means guys that the data that we retrieved is actually 100% accurate. And the most impressive part is we managed to build this whole thing with just one simple prompt. And I do mean that guys, I didn't run into any issues and I cut that part out of the video. I literally just sent over one prompt and we managed to have a fully functional YouTube analytics app. Which honestly is completely ridiculous and I think you can see that I'm also genuinely impressed but we're not done yet because we can still improve this app and just to take some inspiration if i go back over to social blade social blade is famous for the feature where it basically tells us the estimated monthly earnings and the estimated yearly earnings of each youtube channel so let's go over and implement that feature in our app as well now to do that i will simply come over here and type add in a monthly estimated earnings section and yearly estimated earnings section for each creator and then I will simply come back here and send this request over to your so now all we have to do is to simply wait till your is done creating this brand new section and adding it in our interface and boom you were just finished making the changes so let me again come over here and I will search for Mr. Beast again I will simply click on set and boom if we scroll down here we can see we have an estimated earnings section where we can see the monthly estimated earnings for Mr. Beast. We can also see the yearly estimated earnings and we created a brand new section where it basically tells us the lifetime estimated earnings which is a section that not even social blade has which is actually pretty cool. And over here in the bottom it basically explains to us exactly how it calculated those numbers as you can see it did it with the industry average CPMs of $1 to $3. And the best part is you can add in way more features in this app. For example, if I come over here in the MCP tools, you could, for example, add in a functional backend, as you can see over here, with a backend tool that you are gives you access to. So you can basically have user authentication and basically have every user create its own account and have them in either free or paid plans. Or you can always use the Superbase MCP and basically have Superbase as your backend database where you can store all of your users information. I'm not going to show you how you can do that in this video because this is going to turn out way too long. But I have made a video where I show you exactly how you can do that in Uware and I will put it somewhere around here in scorecard. So make sure you go and check it out after this video. But just to give you an idea, let's say for example you wanted to use Superbase, all you would have to do is come over here and click on the plus icon and then you simply need to give it access to your Superbase personal access token. And then after you did that, you simply close this off and you would come over here in the chat and type something like create a login section with authentication and Superbase as the backend for the app. And then you will simply have to come, send over this message, and you are, would go and create this backend using the Superbase MCP tool. So I think you can see why UR is such a powerful tool and is amazing for building full stack app. That's why I have left a link for it in the description below. So make sure you go and click it, you sign up for a completely free account and you come and play around with it to see what kind of amazing apps you will be able to build using it. But also YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this video where I create an app which has an actual functioning backend in UR AI. So make sure you go watch that next and I will see you over there.